Hey, what's up everyone? Chris here from Brick Players Union, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you my Lego Mach Chevy Express work van. So, let's check it out. Now, I've said it before, and I'm sure I'll say it again, that I think all Lego modular buildings should include a companion vehicle, but unfortunately, only a few of them do. So, for the ones that don't, I decided a while back that I would build my own vehicles to go with them. Now, I recently added the Pet Shop and Brownstone modular buildings to my city, and they fall into the category of modulars that do not include a vehicle. So, when it came time to decide what kind of vehicle I was going to build to go with them, I thought about the minifig that's painting on the second floor of the Brownstone, and I thought giving him a work van seemed like an obvious choice. Now, when it came time to decide what kind of work van to give him, I thought about one of the most common work vans that I've seen on plenty of job sites throughout my life, and that work van is the Chevy Express. Now, the Chevy Express, also known as the GMC Savannah, is a full-size van that's been produced by General Motors since 1996, and except for some minor cosmetic differences, has been pretty much unchanged since then. It comes in three configurations, a passenger van, a cutaway van chassis, which is used for vehicles like ambulances and buses, and a cargo van, which is the model that this Mach is based on. Now, as for the specs of the Mach, the main body is six studs wide, plus another stud on each side for the mirrors, which brings the overall width to eight studs. It has an overall length of 21 studs bumper to bumper, and it has a height of seven bricks to the top of the roof, and eight bricks if you include the roof rack. As for the build itself, starting up front, I built the front end using a studs on side technique with a black grill, black bumper, and black lower valance, and I also added some transparent orange turn signals behind the headlights. Moving on to the sides, I used some two by two airplane windows for the side door windows, and if you look closely behind the window glass, you can see the safety cage that I added to keep the contents of the cargo area nice and safe. I built the rocker panels using 1x2 and 2x2 bow tiles mounted studs on side to give the rocker panels their curved shape. I added a set of black running boards, black door handles, and a set of black side view mirrors as well. And I also gave it a set of 24 by 12 Speed Champions wheels and tires in black with silver hubcaps. Round back, I used the same 2x2 airplane windows that I used on the side. And if you look inside, you'll see that I included another safety cage behind the rear door glass as well. I also recessed the rear license plate and I gave it a black bezel. Up on the roof, I gave the van a black roof rack with ladder, and I made the roof easy to remove to give easy access to the rear cargo area. Now, as for the interior, the rear cargo areas of these vans are usually wide open, which allows them to be set up in any number of ways depending on the user. So in this case, since it's a painter's van, I gave it a set of gray metal shelves with a full assortment of paint cans on one side. And on the other side, I added a smaller set of shelves with some basic tools. And from this angle, you also get a better look at the safety cages that protect the side and rear doors, as well as a safety cage that separates the cargo area from the front passenger area. And speaking of the front passenger area, up here we can see that being that this is a work van, the interior is pretty plain. It includes some basic gray seats, a simple white city steering wheel, and an in-dash cassette player. All right, there you have it, my Lego Mach Chevy Express work van. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, you can let me know by giving me a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do. That is always greatly appreciated. And if you have a minute before you go, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. 
I'd also like to give a shout out to Andrew and Trista, Sadie, Hogan, and Levi. And on that note, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.